when you're dealing with finance and economics, you always have to specify whether you're dealing with a nominal term or a real term. So here in this pane, we're, we're looking at the difference between nominal and real wage. We can also talk about the difference between nominal and real GDP, and uh, as well as the difference between nominal and real interest rates. So when we're talking about nominal figures, wh what we're saying is that it's been unadjusted. It's a current value. It's a current figure, and it includes inflation. When we speak about a real wage, we're saying that we have extracted out the inflation. So look at this diagram here. Here we have the blue line is the nominal uh, wage, and when it is above the inflation price, then what we have is an increase in the real wage. And so here you can see down here on the red line it's going up. But look at when the blue line, the nominal wage, is below inflation. Look what's happened. The real wage has gone down. So this is a, a very helpful way to think about numbers. Uh, again, in this panel here, when the blue line is, is below the brown line, then the real wage has gone down. When the blue line is above the uh, brown line, then the real wage has gone up. And remember that wages increase because of an increase in productivity, which means there's been an increase in output per worker. So it's a one-way street. In other words, you get a raise in um, wage because of a rise in productivity, not the other way around. And so for some examples, suppose your nominal income went up 5% this year and inflation went up by 3% then you would subtract 3 from 5 and say that your real wage has gone up by 2%. Suppose we have another year where your nominal income went up by 5%, but inflation went up by 6%. In that case, what has happened is your real, real wage has gone down. So in conclusion, whenever you're dealing with finance and business and economics, you always have to be aware of whether you're dealing with a nominal figure or a real figure. It makes a lot of difference in the real world.